When we start getting into more and more factors of authentication, and we have different systems to which we must authenticate, it becomes unfortunately common to have to log in and provide these authentication and the identification credentials over and over and over again. It becomes necessary, or at least desirable, to work on what we call a single sign-on system. Single sign-on, or SSO system, simplifies authentication. What it means is that you have a domain of control. When you authenticate yourself to an entry point into that domain, you have signed on to every component of that domain. You sign on once, and once you're in, you're in. Users love it because they don't have to constantly be providing these authentication queries or providing their past phrases or their past words or constantly having different parts of their body being scanned. Users love it. They do it once and they're in. No one looks at you the second time because you've already been authenticated in this trusted domain. Examples of single sign-on systems include Kerberos, Sesame, Kryptonite, and NetSP. Those are four different products that are out in the market. The more popular of all four of these is probably going to be Kerberos. In fact, it's been integrated into the newer Microsoft products, and you'll see it being used more and more as a central authentication mechanism.